In Life in Jar's most recent video, he updates us on a ecosphere that he has been keeping in constant light, meaning this thing is receiving light 24 seven nonstop. And a lot of the comments are asking, hey, what if you made one that was the complete opposite, something subjected to total darkness nonstop and see how it grows and develops. Now, I don't have a ecosphere in the traditional sense, as in something that's fully sealed, never opened, that's in pure darkness, but I do have something similar and I think it'd be interesting to look at and it's related to the topic in question. Now for the last few weeks, what I've been doing is heading down to ponds, local creeks, and just what I like to call ditch diving for plants that I wanna use in my aquariums because I've been looking for stuff like scuds and microfauna in an attempt to bring forth a more bioactive sort of age of my freshwater keeping. And it's been quite an interesting little escapade I've been on, and I'm gonna be making a video on that in the future. In that process, what I've been doing is collecting plants, water, and creatures in yogurt containers. Uh, this is one of many yogurt containers I have, and what's really in this one right now is um, pretty much just dead plants and uh, a few pond snails and stuff. And that's how it is for most of these. Now, most of these I kind of just have left around, tiny bits of anacharis left, some snails, there's like a bit of microphone in there, so I'm kind of just leaving them be by my windowsill and in other locations, but what I have behind me here are two fully sealed yogurt containers. The other ones I've left open so they can receive some amount of light, but these have been in total darkness basically for about two weeks. Uh, now I opened these up the other day, which is why it can't be an ecosphere. And obviously if Life in Jars is gonna do this, you can't do it this way because yeah, I can't see in these things without opening them and I don't think they're airtight, but um, I'm gonna take you guys through a little tour of what's actually inside these things because it's quite interesting. The reason I even have these is because I was just saving some pond water because there's a few plants left in here and some snails and stuff like that. The plants all decayed, of course, because they were in total darkness, but I'm gonna take you over there and we're gonna look at what's inside because I think it'll be pretty interesting and it definitely relates to the uh, to the topic of, you know, a video based on an ecosphere in total darkness. So let's go over there and let's take a look. All right, so right here are our two yogurt cups in question. I got the contents of these from several different locations. Try not to focus on the tank in the background. That's a spoiler for a later video, but yes, that is a pop can in there. Anyways. Let's pop these open. I'll give you guys a look at what's inside. So the first one here, might be able to see a scud swimming around there. Look at him getting close to the top there. And there are a ton of copepods. But yeah, this thing is a barren wasteland, basically. There is no plant life in here. And as far as I'm aware, these things are solely surviving off of the detritus on the bottom. So that, that's my point to make for uh, Life in Jars, if he's gonna attempt this, is um, try to get a bunch of detritus and like mull them on the bottom so that they have something to live off of. You can see some copepods on the top there. And you know, I just think it's pretty cool. But the whole reason I did this was I wanted to get a, I wanted to get plants for my aquariums, but I also wanted to get microfauna to feed my Dario Dario and my other fish. Cause I'm like, oh, I should culture copepods or something. Well, I've done it accidentally here. I had this container right here this was the intentional culturing bin and I don't think there's that much in here and the unintentional ones that I just left to basically rot are doing great I mean there's a ton of stuff going on in here and in this one this one's a bit brighter you might be able to see a bit better you can see copepods swim in there they have a very distinct movement if you're seeing like some jittery back and forth stuff that that's them So yeah, if you want to do this yourself, if you're like, hey, I want to culture or I want to get some stuff for my fish to eat, literally, here's all you got to do. Go to the pond, go to a local ditch, anything you can find, really, that's a water body. Grab some plants, some muck, some leaf litter, and some water, and you're going to find stuff. Life in jars, I know you're watching this, but if you are, the darkness ecosphere, you know, it works somewhat. I mean, there's a scud there. Uh, you know, it only... This has only been going in total darkness for two weeks, maybe. Obviously, these aren't fully sealed ecospheres, so your experiment's probably gonna be a bit different than mine. This wasn't intentional at all, so you know, I could have just got lucky. But uh, I'm gonna leave these things like this, pretty much. I might feed, I might add food occasionally. You know, I'm gonna treat these like actual cultures because I wanna feed my fish with them. But yeah, I, th I thought, you know, some people might wanna see what it could be like before that video gets made, so, so here you go. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.